Hello, my name is David Finney and I am a Big Fix Technical Advisor based out of Denver, Colorado. In this video, we'll be discussing how to add sites to Big Fix. Before we begin, the QR code at the bottom of the screen will prompt an email or you can see my email address just below my name. So if there are any questions about what I've covered, I'll be happy to follow up with you. Adding sites to Big Fix is a pretty easy process. Down in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, you'll see Big Fix Management. And then from that page, the third option down will be your license overview dashboard. This is where you're gonna control your license allocations and what sites are subscribed. Basically, uh, one note that you want to make sure to cover on this as well is that if you do see a site certificate uh, update needed, uh, that is where you're going to run the BEZ admin tool. This will impact what you see on the license overview dashboard in terms of sites and even license uh, quantity allocation. So it's important that you uh, you make sure that's updated. Uh, the BEZ admin tool, that is actually covered in a separate video. Uh, but for now, basically, if that site is up to date, the certificate's up to date, you'll see everything that you have available to you. You basically scroll down the list and you'll be able to go ahead and uh, click enable to the right side at any of the sites that you want to go ahead and have it gather. And from that process, it'll go ahead and trigger the actual gather service to go ahead and gather that new content. Once that finishes, then you'll be able to go ahead and subscribe computers to that new site and begin utilizing the new content. Okay, live demonstration time. Uh, so this is my big fix console right here. Um, it's kind of jumping around here so you can see where I'm at. But down here in the bottom left-hand corner, Big Fix Management. And then License Overview. This is the thing I was telling you about that we need to keep our eyes open for. Uh, if you do see this, it is a good idea to run this Bez Admin tool. Again, that's a separate video. But this will impact what all numbers appear here, what sites you can enable. Uh, so that's important to keep your eyes open for that. Now, uh, so let's just say that I, I am going to go ahead and run this, uh, this demonstration without doing this update. But... Um, basically you just kind of search through this list. You can kind of see, I've got a huge amount of content just cause you know, obviously I work for HDL, so they give us a lot of good stuff. Uh, but basically, uh, you go down this list and you'll see what your subscribed sites are. Um, that's already the site content that's already been gathered and what computer counts I have allocated against it. Today, I'm going to actually go and gather the patches for Mac applications is what I'm going to go for. Uh, so it's right here. Uh, this will be my third-party uh, Mac application. I'll go ahead and enable this guy here. And you'll see it drops from this list. And you're going to see two things going to happen with that. It's going to jump up to here. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, this is going to allow you to go ahead and actually control the computer subscriptions. I brought this up. You can see it's grayed out right now. And the reason why that is is it's waiting for the server to go ahead and uh, begin the gather of these updates. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to, it's it's basically connecting up to the HCL servers right now. And it's going ahead and actually gathering that site so that we can begin uh, actually working with it. This process usually takes just a few minutes. Um, I will say that if it's a bigger site, something like patches for Windows, uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But I'll go ahead and uh, pause the video for a moment and bring it back up once this finishes. Okay, and we're back. Uh, grand total, I'd say that took maybe two and a half minutes, uh, something like that ballpark. But basically, uh, site's finished. You can kind of see that reflected down here in the bottom right-hand corner. And then from there, you just basically allocate systems uh, to kind of check into that site. You can do that in multiple, multiple ways. You can, you know, right now, it starts with no computers, but you can actually go and, you know, set it to uh, particular, you know, relevance for what computers are going to enroll that site. You can use your groups. Uh, whatever you really want to do in order to do that. Um, so basically a lot of different options to control those site subscriptions. Computer groups are real common, or in my case, I'm just going to do all computers. Uh, now, the cool thing is, is that even though I'm doing all computers, not all computers are going to subscribe to it because each site does have its own relevance. Uh, so you can see here, it's only going to be looking for Mac systems. Uh, so you can kind of see that here. So it's not like Windows systems are going to be coming in and checking in against uh, Mac content. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what it takes to subscribe those sites. And then from there, the computers will go ahead and start enrolling against the site. Uh, and you'll see that uh, reflected over here. I'm actually going to jump over to this area. So it comes in as an external site initially. Uh, now, granted, you could turn that into custom site content or whatever is needed from there. 
Um, but you can see this is the same site here. Uh, so you can see that there's nothing that's coming into it yet. That's just because no computers have raised their hands to it yet uh, as to the new site content. Um, looks like I have an old entry for a uh, MacBook uh, that's on my desk here. But uh, once the uh, item starts subscribing to the systems, uh, you'll start seeing this start kind of showing up. But then, you know, just to show you as well, I'll show the non-relevant content. So you can see what all is there. Um, so you can see a multitude of third-party patches that are available. Um, just have to basically wait for my systems to say, okay, cool, I'm subscribed to this site, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start raising our hands for which one of these third-party patches uh, we're available to. And so, yeah, that's basically how it works. Uh, then from there, you can start distributing this patch content. Thank you, everyone, for uh, joining me today on the Adding Sites to Big Fix uh, video. And if there are any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to reach out because we are always happy to help.